Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, of course you don't have to close your eyes. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to listen to this recording or watch this video. But it's good just to be aware of, you know, your own safety. So, you know, if you're, fly, you're flying a, a plane or something, perhaps you should listen to this right now. Or driving a truck or something, you know, just, it's about being sensible. Because unfortunately, my boring voice might send you to sleep. Or fortunately, depending which way you look at it. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to keep bringing you back to a specific focus. And that focus is going to be your hands. Okay. So if you're lying down, your hands may be, I guess, at the side of you or uh, depending on how you're lying. Uh, if you're sitting in a chair, your hands may be on your on your knees. So wherever your hands are. I'm just going to ask you to keep coming back to focusing on your hands. Now, if for whatever reason uh, focusing on your hands is not a good idea or not available, then I'm going to ask you to choose a different part of your body. Uh, maybe your feet. Uh, you could focus on your shoulders. You could focus on your knees. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to use hands for now. Um, but you adapt as you feel you need to. Okay. And some might say, well, what do you mean if you can't use your hands? Well, not everybody has hands. Okay. Somebody might, some people are born without hands. Some people lose hands. It's not just that. It's if, if you're listening, some people might have, uh, physical problems with their hands like chronic pain and they the last thing they want to do is focus on that part of their body you, you understand so uh, I can't know when I make these videos these recordings who's listening so it's a case of just remembering that I'm not not being weird or funny with you like by choosing your hands and you might think well why why my hands they hurt I'm not to know that. So choose a part of your body that is suitable. I'm going to say hands just for the sake of it. And the reason I actually choose hands is because it's handy. You know, it's 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 a part of us. Um, the general population would use a lot. Use our hands a lot. And... It's quite easy to focus on the fingers, the fingertips, the palms of your hands, even the backs of your hands. It's quite an easy part to focus on. And when you touch your hands, like if you stroke the back of your hand, it's very sensitive. Yet it's not necessarily soft and sensitive skin. Like the palm, it's a lot more sensitive and it's a lot more softer. Although my right hand is a lot whiter on the palm than my left for some reason. I must have caught a suntan on my left palm. And so, but they're very sensitive to touch. Because there's lots of nerve endings. So we're very familiar with our hands, uh, as we are, I guess, with our feet as well. Just any part that you use a lot of. Now, some people might be listening to this and thinking, oh, why don't I just get on with it? Why do you keep going on and talking? 
<laughs> about hands and stuff. Well, that's how I do things. Okay. Um, everything I do generally is very slow. And for those that are listening to relax, then you can relax. Those that are listening to fall asleep, then you can fall asleep. And maybe through boredom of hearing me waffle on about hands and feet and knees and elbows and shoulders and being careful what you know when you listen to this um depending on what activity you're physically doing in this moment and then talking about my boring voice and all that stuff it's all part of the process because some people who listen to me or watch me on YouTube listen regularly and you don't necessarily listen to what I'm saying. It might be that you're so used to drifting into a, you know, that's that journey of kind of your brain shutting down and you start to drift into a nice healing sleep. That process might begin very early with a lot of people that listen regularly. And some people find that when I talk, you can just notice that your body, the, the muscles in your body start to relax. It's almost like the muscles in your body have got little ears and they can hear me and they're thinking, nah, I'm not listening to that. I'm not listening to that nonsense. I'm just going to relax. I'll relax till it's over. Let us know when it's finished. And they just naturally relax. And once one part of your body starts to relax, the rest of your body, the muscles are very much like sheep. They just follow. They follow the follower. So you're the leader. Your mind is the leader. And you choose to relax the muscles in your body as soon as you press the play button on this this recording as soon as you do that you are in effect giving your body it may be a suggestion it may be a command in your mind i don't know but you're telling your body that it's time to relax it's time for the muscles in your body to slowly gradually naturally let go and this is something that's it just happens and the more often you listen to me it, that process tends to get bypassed almost to the point where you start to feel relaxed. Maybe you start to feel sleepy just by thinking about me, by thinking about listening to me. So maybe you're sitting in a chair in your living room and you're going to put the telly on and you're going to go onto YouTube maybe and find my latest video or one of your favorite videos of me and you you almost can't be bothered to do that you it's like oh i can't be bothered to find the video because you already want to just drift off uh you already want to just let go and you know that feeling in your head and your mind where everything starts to go slowly, starts to just 
to the point where having to do anything is a chore. You know, sometimes you'll be sitting watching telly and you can't even be bothered. You're so tired, you can't be bothered to move into the next room where the bed is. I'm sure we've all felt that way at times. And it's that feeling of um, not losing control, but no longer caring about having control that seems to be stimulated within your mind. And those thoughts that maybe you were having before, you know, the chitter-chatter uh, stuff that was in your mind before, for some reason, just starts to slow down, if it hasn't done already. I mean, some people will find that, until I mentioned the chitter-chatter in your mind, you'd completely forgotten about it. It's as if it's difficult to listen to me and listen to the conversations that's going on inside your mind. Almost as if the two can't coexist and those thoughts in your mind just tend to just shrink and just fall down now the good thing about thinking is it doesn't stop forever you know it's not like you've got to turn it off and that's it you never have another thought I mean, some people would say, oh, I'd love that. But then we'd, we wouldn't be human, you know. And if there's a, an important thought and you listen to my voice and it just drops away with all the other stuff, the important thought will still be there when you wake up, when you decide to do something else and you... You know, you open your eyes feeling refreshed in an hour or half an hour or five hours, depending. Any important thoughts will still come back to you. Any creative thinking. In fact, you may find that the more often you listen to me, the more creative you seem to find yourself being. Maybe not just the way you think, but also uh, verbally. You may notice that your just the words you use or the phrases you use or maybe ideas come to you and you notice it. You notice the difference and maybe that could be the result of relaxing your mind and your body and removing those blockages of energy that were getting in the way of you thinking more clearly Got a lovely motorbike in the background, that's good. I uh, pay that person every month. I just say, do us a favour. Around this time, can you start your motorbike? Because I love my recordings being interrupted. I was like, he said, really? I said, no. <laughs> so, As I said at the beginning, we're going to focus on your hands. So I'm going to close my eyes. You can close yours if you want, if you haven't done already. I mean, 
not everybody needs to close their eyes to sleep. Most people do. Most people find it easier to close, you know, to relax when they've got your eyes closed. I'm one of those. Although I can relax with my eyes open, and which is handy, especially if you're in a conversation with somebody. You generally can't just close your eyes. Uh, some people class that as rude, especially if you're in a job interview or something like that. So it's, it's good to be able to relax in any situation that you choose to relax and, you know, feel calm. But I guess there's different types of relaxation and some of the feelings of comfort and letting go that you may experience whilst listening to my voice may go a bit deeper than perhaps you would do if you were just doing this on your own or if you were you know in a room with someone because if you have your eyes open and you are talking to someone you want to feel relaxed it's a different level of relaxation when you have your eyes closed and all the muscles in your body just continually relax even deeper and your mind maybe starts to drift a bit and it doesn't tend to stay just on one uh, in one place it's it's relaxing it's becoming more more calm and peaceful with every passing second but it can tend to drift and when your mind drifts it could mean that you're you start to dream and once you start to dream you know every now and then you might come back and hear my voice again and and then you start to drift again and eventually when you continue doing that one of those dreams will stick and you just, you get on for the ride, really. And you end up, it's almost like a slide. And you slide down into that dream. And you're no longer necessarily listening to my voice. Although you may be able to hear my voice with your ears. And you may absorb uh, some kind of positive... Uh, useful messages that you may find helpful along the way. But by focusing on your hands every now and then, it allows you to stay in the moment. But only if you're listening just for relaxation and if you're you know if, if you're choosing to fall asleep then yeah you can perhaps just ignore the idea of focusing on your hands but if you're if you're listening because you actually want to increase your level of comfort, increase the sense of peacefulness in your mind and enjoying focusing on that level of comfort spreading through your muscles. 
it can be enjoyable to just observe and experience the process. So as we focus on your hands, each time we focus on your hands, you may notice that you feel even more relaxed. And it's almost like I'm giving you a suggestion to relax your body and your mind twice as relaxed. Even though I'm not saying that, almost like I am saying it that bringing you back to focus bringing you back to noticing how you're feeling tends to increase that particular physical and emotional sensation of comfort and looseness that's spreading through your body your bones, your muscles, your blood, your hairs, that sense of complete comfort from your brain moving all the way down your spinal cord and then traveling to every part of your body. So focusing on your hands again. And we're going to focus on your hands 10 more times. And maybe you'll find that each and every time we focus on your hands, you become even, even deeper relaxed. And between focusing on your hands, I'm going to count from five down to one. Which may help you to become just so relaxed, so very peaceful in your chest, in your stomach, your arms, shoulders, hands, your back, the back of your neck, your throat, your toes, your feet, your legs, your knees, thighs, hips, your groin, your buttocks, Your ears, nose, your lips, your jaw, your eyes, your brain, the whole of your skin becoming more comfortable. Five, four, Three, two, one. Focus on your hands. Five, four, three, two. One, focus on your hands, five, four, three, two, one. Focus on your hands. Five, four, three, two, one. F 
focus on your hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Focus on your hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Focus on your hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Focus on your hands. Five, four. Three, two, one. Focus on your hands. Five, four. on your hands for the last time and if you choose you can open your eyes feeling refreshed feeling wonderful completely relaxed rejuvenated full of energy or if you choose, you can just keep your eyes closed and enjoy the physical and emotional delights of complete comfort in your body and your mind. Perhaps drifting off into a deep, healing sleep. Five, four, three, two, one.